What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to episode 4 of Setup Wars where you submit your desk setup for a chance to get featured on my channel and a chance to win some money. I host these every Monday and I randomly select 5 of your submissions and feature them on my channel. You guys get to vote on the best desk setup. If you guys are new to the series and want to submit your desk setup then you need to watch the requirements video linked in the description section down below. But with all that said, let the Setup Wars finally begin. Alright, so the five chosen contestants for this week are Danny, Ribonato, Brendan, George, and Tyler. Congrats for making it into this week's episode of Setup Wars. By the way, all the products I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description section for those of you guys that are interested. But with that said, let's go ahead and check out Danny's setup. Okay, so we have a fairly simple setup going on over here. You have a 29 inch LG ultra wide monitor with an interesting wallpaper choice. I guess you're kind of going for a red and white theme over here, but I do like the red glow you got going on behind the monitor. I guess since you're up against the corner, the LEDs form like a triangle shape and it looks really cool. A few things you have on your desk are the 13 inch MacBook Pro, Apple keyboard and mouse. You also have an iPhone lighting dock and a quirky cordies for cable management. Not a whole lot on your desk, which is good because you do have a very clean setup. I also noticed the humongous speaker you have on top of your desk. Now normally this would bother me but for some reason it just works with your setup and there's really no other place you can put it since you only have one. So not many cables underneath as well, it looks like you routed them underneath the carpet I think. I also I have no idea how you did that without the carpet having bulges so I give you a thumbs up on that. And I'm also glad you don't have an H440 PC case because I've seen enough of those in the setup wars. Now this is just me, but if I were to put up a picture of a car and frame it on my wall, it's definitely not going to be a picture of a Honda. So I'm assuming you either do that and wanted to display your artwork or there's another meaning behind it. By the way, if you did draw that, I give you an A+. Really good job on the details. I was going to make a sarcastic joke on the fact that you have a landline phone, but I'm gonna let it go since it offsets the lamp on the opposite side to make it somewhat symmetrical. But anyways, overall very clean. I'm really digging the glass table and you have great taste in monitors. Thank you, Danny, for submitting your desk setup. Next up, we have Ria Bonato. And damn, there's, there's a lot going on over here. First up, I want to mention that I'm really digging the atmosphere you got going on. This does look like the real deal man cave. I also noticed that you went with a white, red, and black theme. I like. So on that awesome desk of yours, there is a 40 inch Philips TV hooked up to your PC, along with a 24 inch Dell monitor. You also have a Razer Tartarus gaming keyboard, a Rapu wireless keyboard, and a Mad Cat's Rat 7 gaming mouse. By the way, that gaming mouse looks like a damn Transformers mouse. I mean, this is what Optimus Prime uses when he's gaming, but seriously, you guys have to check it out. I'll leave a link to it down below. I also see a Plantronics 780 headset with a red cable. You definitely pay attention to detail, so I will give you props for that. One thing I would strongly suggest is perhaps getting a larger gaming mouse pad because I have no idea how you game on something that small. So on the wall, it looks like you have a mounted Toshiba TV, which looks like it's hooked up to your PS3. Point for Team Sony. You did a fantastic job on cable management and you have a very unique desk layout. I honestly haven't seen anything like that and the red LEDs that you have behind the desk really ties everything together. However, I don't know how I feel about those stools. I'm sure they are for guests, but I would have gotten something with back support so that your guests can relax while gaming or watching movies for a long period of time. In one of your other picks, you actually have really comfy one seat sofa, so I'm not sure what made you decide to switch them. I also want to mention that you have a beast of a computer. Really great choice on the Corsair 780T tower. If you're going to build a badass PC like this, you have to have a full window to show off your stuff. And plus one for keeping your theme and really great job on the cable management once again inside the PC. I won't waste time going through the parts or specs of the PC, but I will have them linked below his setup equipment in the description section for those of you that are interested. Alright, next up we have Brandon. It looks like we have a dual monitor setup, different models, but they are both from ASUS. To be fair, he did mention that one of the monitors is discontinued, which is why he wasn't able to get two, so thank you for letting me know. I can sleep better at night. I'm not sure what the deal is with that huge poster on your wall. I mean, what is so special about it that you have to remind yourself that it's designed and made in New Zealand? 
and what is designed and made in New Zealand? I don't get it. So on the table we have a Razer Black Widow chroma keyboard, a Death Adder mouse and a Razer mouse pad. And is that a PS4 controller I see? You know what that means. I also noticed that you have a Razer mouse bungee and for those of you that don't know what that is, it basically keeps the mouse cord off of the desk so that way the mouse doesn't get stuck when you're actually gaming. But I want to hear your experience with it so let me know if it's working out for you in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and take a look under your desk. So okay it looks like you use zip ties and some tape to clean up the cables a bit so not bad at all. And I just noticed your Razer headphones near your PC tower. I wish you would have sent me a pic of your PC, but oh well. But anyways, you have a pretty good setup. Just get two of the same monitors and you will get my approval. But thank you, Brandon, for submitting your desk setup. Next up, we got George. Let's go ahead and see what you submitted. Holy speakers, Batman. It looks like we have a triple monitor setup with two pairs of Pioneer 5.1 speakers spread on three separate tables from Ikea. I really love the presentation. You just can't look away from it. I think that the blue LEDs under the desk and I'm guessing there are some behind the monitors as well really adds to the overall setup. It's just gorgeous man. I mean what can I say, really good job. So it looks like you went with three LG 24 inch IPS monitors mounted on the Ronix stands and you did a really good job routing the cables behind them. You have a Black Widow keyboard, MX mouse and a Corsair mouse pad and on the left of those you have the remote to change the color of the LEDs I'm guessing and the Galaxy Note 2 with a Galaxy tablet right next to it. You also have some filming gear which I'm guessing are used for your YouTube channel and a 32 inch Sony TV for console gaming. And from the controller on your desk it's evident that you are team Microsoft. By the way great choice on the Audio Technica headphones. Amazing job on cable management. You have a ton of stuff on your desk and the fact that you kept it all the way from sight deserves an award. I'm also digging your PC setup, overall really clean cable management and I see that you're rocking the MSI GTX 970 graphics card which is a solid choice. As always I will leave a link to the parts and specs down below. But yeah man nothing really to criticize here, I'm really impressed with the clean and symmetrical setup you have. Thank you George for entering Setup Wars. Last but not least we have Tyler. Okay so we have two different sizes and two different colored monitors. In his defense, he did try and get another monitor, but they were out of stock, so they went ahead and upgraded him to a different sized model. So, don't sweat it, bro. I got you. So on the table, we got another Black Widow keyboard and a Death Adder mouse and an extended mouse pad from Glorious. You know, it makes me really happy every time I see an extended mouse pad instead of the traditional square ones. It really does clean up the overall look of the desk. Props on picking up the snowball mic and mounting it on your desk. That reminds me, I actually have to pick up one of these for myself. But let's go ahead and take a look under your desk. And it looks like you did a good job on cable management. Overall very clean and I didn't even notice that you have LEDs. It seems like LED strips are also very common in these desk setups. But yeah, overall a very simple setup. Thank you Tyler for entering Setup Wars. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. Voting begins now, so make sure you guys drop a comment down below on who has the best desk setup. Voting will end this Saturday and I will announce a winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram account. So make sure you guys are following me there for all the updates. If you guys missed my previous episodes of Setup Wars, I'll go ahead and link the playlist down below so you guys can check those out. And if you guys want to see Setup Wars continue every single Monday, then let me know by smashing that like button to show support for the series. But anyways, thanks again for watching. This is Ed from TechSource. I will see you guys in the next video.